America's public schools are failing students in multiple ways. One of the most disruptive is the process by which students are funneled out of the public school system and into the juvenile justice system. It's called the school to prison pipeline, and there is increasing evidence that it starts as early as preschool. The school to prison pipeline primarily victimizes black students, trapping them in a cycle of discipline and incarceration, according to Dr. Kenneth D. Waters, diversity educator and researcher. I want to believe that every student wants to overcome the societal predictions of what's placed on them because of their race, sex, and their socioeconomic status. Increasingly, schools are cracking down on small offenses, such as cutting class or being disrespectful. This is supposed to discourage more serious infractions, like drug or weapons possession. But what constitutes disobedience or disrespect can be very subjective. A study in Texas found that 97% of the state's suspensions were for subjective reasons, made at the discretion of school administrators. And black students were 31% more likely to receive discretionary suspensions than white students. I mean, it obviously affects the individual who's actually entering the penal system, but you're affecting communities, you're affecting the economy, you're affecting families, you're affecting school systems. The disparity can start as early as preschool, when 48% of preschoolers who are suspended more than once are black. Black students are three times more likely to be suspended or expelled than their white counterparts. And black girls are suspended at higher rates than girls of any other race. I want to believe every student is destined for success. They want to achieve. But more times than not, we can't control certain things that happen in their homes. I had a student years ago. By the time they got to school, they said, hey, I walked through a crack house facility, prostitution. When I get here, I walk through a metal detector and people bother me. And I haven't eaten since lunch yesterday. And you're asking me to sit here in class and learn? There's a challenge. When students are kept out of school as punishment, they miss lessons and assignments and fall behind academically. They are also more likely to be disciplined again, which can lead to further problems. The Texas study found that students who had been suspended or expelled were twice as likely to drop out. Adding to the problem, police officers stationed inside schools to prevent serious crimes. When these officers react overzealously to minor infractions, they make small problems worse. Schools with officers have five times as many arrests for disorderly conduct as schools without them. But there are solutions. We need more of our educators to take a genuine interest in the whole student as opposed to what they really want to teach on the board and so forth. Do not be quick to actually discipline them, but be more mindful of the, the predicament they may be coming from and have an understanding of why they're doing what they're doing. Now, I'm not saying take away the discipline, but as you're adding that disciplinary act or that consequence, you're explaining why am I doing this? You're explaining the reason I am disciplining you is because this happened and this is how you can fix this down the line. I'm showing the genuine interest of actually being restorative and helping you and moving forward so this won't happen again and be repeated. There are also proactive solutions, including hiring school guidance counselors instead of more police officers. Experts like Kenneth say the best way to prevent incarceration is to provide more equal educational opportunities and to create environments that support all students. three felonies. As a teenager, I went to Juvie for three felonies. I love to steal cars. That's what I specialized in. This is corners where I sold heroin. So this is my junior high. Five police cars, one junior high. We lived in this condemned apartment in West Oakland. My mother had a third grade education. She was scraping by to, just to feed us. My mom would go to work and lock the door on us from the outside. Three-year-old and a seven-year-old. I remember sleeping on this kitchen floor with roaches and rats crawling all around me. 
I would tremble all night long because I was so cold. My mom tells me this story that she's coming back at 2 in the morning and she sees my brother walking on East 14. And he's holding my hand and then she's like, hey, where are you guys going? And he's like, oh, we're going to find someone that's going to take care of us. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, you guys. Getting away kind of helped me to, I don't know, heal, heal, just feel safe. Tell them about swimming. That was fun. Yeah, I didn't cry. You know, Santa Barbara, just a basic, healthy community that gives them good opportunities. When people now will say, oh, you married a professor? And I'm like, I didn't. When I met him, he was living in West Oakland with his mom. He would work on cars, and all the kids in the neighborhood would come, and he would teach them how to work on the cars and talk to them about their life. And they loved, like, loved him. I was a gang prevention counselor at a middle school. Rebecca was a student teacher. We teamed up and really put a lot of our love and energy into these kids. these at-risk kids, right, quote, unquote, that created our family, in a sense. You will be with me for the rest of our life. I see Victor in a lot of these young people. You know, he's a person that struggled, that came from a very impoverished household. Good morning, brother. How you doing today? All right. Diego. These are young people that are going through struggles where they must overcome barriers that young people shouldn't have to deal with, period. You know, they're up against a lot, and I think they get judged too easily. <laughs> By saying drop out, you're putting the blame on the individual. Push out and says, wait a minute, system, what's going on here? What are we doing wrong as a system to address 